Smart on Thursday revealed the first model developed under the brand's joint ownership by Mercedes-Benz and Geely. The reveal took place in the German capital Berlin. A concept previewing the Smart One was also unveiled in Germany during last year's inaugural Munich Auto Show. The form of the Smart One is shaped by new design, new technology, and a new approach to create an urban companion. Just like the Smart brand itself, the values of the design are an invitation to connect with the car on a purely personal level. The exterior is forward-thinking and progressive, with elements such as concealed electric door handles, frameless doors and the floating halo roof that users would not expect on a car in this category. At every angle there is always a new detail to explore. The space-to-footprint ratio is pushed to the maximum, the all-new Smart 1 with its 4,270mm length, wheelbase of 2,750mm, and the max 19-inch rims are creating an impressive interior space with an enhanced 360 degrees view. Inside you'll find seating for five, plus premium features like a 9.2-inch digital instrument cluster, 12.8-inch infotainment screen, and a 10-inch head-up display. An app will also enable easy sharing of the car via a digital key function. Trunk storage is a maximum 14.5 cubic feet with the rear seats folded flat, and the vehicle's curb weight is a bit over 4,000 pounds. Under the floor sits a 66 kilowatt hours lithium ion battery that provides a range of between 420 and 440 kilometers on the WLTP cycle. The Smart One accepts up to 22 kilowatts of AC charging power, which can fill the battery from 10% to 80% in under three hours. Alternatively, you can use a DC fast charger with an output of up to 150 kilowatts which will top up the battery in less than 30 minutes. Safety-wise, the Smart One is offered with seven airbags and a full complement of driver assistance features, including autonomous emergency braking, adaptive cruise control with stop and go, lane centering assist, lane change assist, lane keeping assist and blind spot monitoring. Thanks for watching and give your comments below.